Hi guys, today we'll be going over the problem threesome. So first I'll explain the logic and then we can go over the example. So the problem statement is something like this. So you will be given an array which will have few elements like minus 1, 0, 1, 2, minus 1 and minus 4. You have to find triplets such that sum of three integers is equal to 0. Okay. So our logic contains five steps. The first step is to sort the array. Then the second step, we take three pointers, i, l, and r. So l will be i plus 1 and r will be size minus 1. And we have a condition, we loop through until l is less than r. So for every i, we loop until l is less than r. And every time, we increment l or decrement r. Target and sum. So target will always be equal to a of minus a of i because we need to find a plus b plus c is equal to 0. So in this case, b plus c is equal to minus a. So this is our target and this is our sum. Okay, so target is denoted by t, which is minus of a of i and sum is a of l plus a of r. So once we have target and sum, we compare that and we have three cases. One, if sum is less than t, then we have to increment l by 1. So we move l by 1 position. And if sum is greater than t, then we decrement r by 1 position and we come back. If it is equal, then we have our solution. So whenever we increment or decrement to optimize the solution, what we can do is we can avoid the duplicates. So whenever we increment, we can check if a of l minus 1 is equal to a of l, then we can increment once more. So that we'll see in the example. So this is the example. So first I have sorted the array. So the given array after sorting, it looks something like this. Minus 4, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So as I said, target will always be equal to minus of a of i and sum will always be equal to a of l plus a of r. So in this case, size of the array is 6. So let's go through the iteration when i is equal to 0. So when i is equal to 0, the target will always be equal to 4, which is minus of minus of 4. So then we have to loop through the remaining element such that l is always less than r. So initially, l will be 1, that is i plus 1, and r will be size minus 1, that is 5. So when we take this, the sum is nothing but l of a of l plus a of r, so that is minus 1. So when we compare this with our target, minus 1 less than 4, as minus 1 is less than 4, we increment here. So as I said, we can avoid duplicates. So at that time, we can check if a of l minus 1 is equal to a of l. So in this case, it's equal because minus 1 and minus 1 are equal. So instead of calculating again, we can just increment l by once more. So at that time, l will be equal to 3. So in this case, when l is equal to 3 and r is equal to 5, sum will be minus 0 plus 2, which is 2. So then we need to compare this with our target. So in this case as well, 2 is less than 4. So we increment l again. So then l to 4. So when l is equal to 4 and r is equal to 5, our sum is 1 plus 2, which is 3. So when we compare our sum with the target, we see the 3 is less than 4. So we increment l again. So then l will be equal to 5 and we are not satisfying this condition. So we come out of the first iteration. Then we make i is equal to 1. So when i is equal to 1, we have to go through the same sequence again and see if we find any triplet. When i is equal to 1, our target will be minus of a of 1, which is minus 1. So our target is 1. So we need to find such that the sum is sum of two other elements is always equal to target. So when L is equal to 2 or R is equal to 5, our sum will be minus 1 plus 2, which is 1. So in this case, as you can see, we've, our target is 1 and sum is 1. So we found the solution. So, so S is equal to T. So in this case, our triplet will be A of I, A of L and A of R, which is minus 1, minus 1 and 2. So this is our first triplet whose sum is equal to 0. So when you go on till I is less than size minus 1, so you find another triplet. So I'll leave this to you guys to continue the iteration and verify this. But these are the two solutions you'll be getting if you go on through the iteration till the end. So this is one of the important problems frequently asked in Microsoft interviews. So if you have any questions or inputs, please leave them in the comments below. And when it comes to the time complexity, as you can see, for every i, we go through the remaining elements. So in the worst case, the time complexity is of n square. So, so another solution for this is brute force method where you have three loops. So time complexity will be of n cube. 
but uh, this seems to be much efficient because the time comp complexity is o of n square and if you have any specific questions you want me to solve please leave them in the comments below as well keep learning every day and all the best thank you hi guys as i've already lo explained the logic for both brute force as well as efficient method for solving this problem three sum so let me code the efficient solution so let's go through the description of the problem once again so given an array of n integers there are three such elements a b c such that a plus b plus c is equal to zero right so that's our that's those are the three elements we need to find so let me rewrite this as a b plus c is equal to minus a So we need to find all the unique triplets in an array which gives the sum of zero for example given this array minus one zero one two minus one and minus four the solution set looks something like this so it contains two triplets if you consider each individual triplet the summation of the three numbers is equal to zero okay let's start coding so the first uh, is it expects a return of double vector let's take that name it as a result so we need something called a size which will give the size of the input vector okay. and as i said we need to sort first okay std sort nums dot front and nums dot n Once we have sorted, then we start a for loop. So, as I said, right? So, first we need to pick one element and try to find two such elements whose sum will be equal to the negative value of the first element so if i is equal to zero the next element it should be something that's left equal to i plus one and the third element would be let's say it right and which will be equal to size minus one so basically if we take i is equal to zero next we are trying to find two such elements whose sum will be equal to negative of a and these two elements should be lying between left and right okay, okay so we start a loop until left less than right first thing we need to check is the sum so the sum would be num of left plus nums of right Uh, if sum is less than our target so here if you see our target is minus num of i right okay if it is less then we need to increase our lower index If sum is greater than target then we need to reduce our higher index so if it is not lower or, or greater then it will be equal so when it is equal we find our solution so we need to store the result so in this case let's take a temporary vector It is the size of three and initialize the element with zero. Let's say temp of zero is the first element, which is num of i. And the second element and third second element is nothing but left. Third element is right. So we need to store this result in our the temporary vector 
which is the first bullet what we have found so we can store this in our results so it will be something called as a result push back temp okay so this will give us the first triplet so next what we can check is we need to increment or decrement left right so we check left is less than right and so we can avoid duplicates so to avoid duplicates what we can check is if nums of left is equal to temp of one until and till all our nums of left that is the next element of the lower index is equal to what we have already taken we just keep incrementing it same thing for higher index in this case numbers of right will be equal to temp of 2 and we'll be decrementing it so basically we have avoided for the lower index and higher index but we can add one more efficiency here so we can avoid the same condition we can check for the every element what we pick it's the i if i plus one is less than size and if i equal to i plus one we can do i plus plus okay so this seems to be our final solution let's go through the logic once this is nums and in case we didn't find at the end of the function we need to return we return our result right so as i said once you have written your code please go through it line by line and try to find all the minor mistakes and try to avoid those because when you go for an actual interview, you will not have a chance to compile your code. So this way, once you have written your code, if you go through it line by line and try to find the smaller minor mistakes, so you can avoid those in the actual interview as well, when you're doing the whiteboard coding. Okay, so first we start, and the nums is correct. We initialize i, we start from i to size, size we have already taken here. So we take our left index right index and then our target we check until while is less left is less than i right so we check until left is less than right so every time we take the sum of left and right and try to compare it with the target so we hit one of these three conditions so if it is equal then we store our result okay so this is the code to avoid the duplicates if nums of left is equal to the element with what we have already picked so just avoid that same way for right and then same way for the initial index okay i think we're good i think we're good here let's run it we might find some smaller mistakes let's see as i said okay sort this takes end and it's not the front it's the begin okay we run the code okay this seems to be fine the output expected is minus one minus one two whose summation is zero and minus one zero one whose sum is again equal to zero and we are returning the same two triplets so let's submit the code and try to see if it passes for all the subcases okay it looks like it passed and in this case in the worst case the time complexity is o of n square because every time you pick an element i is looping from zero to size and every time you pick we go through left to right that is all the remaining elements of the array that is basically size minus one so basically in the worst case scenario you have to loop through the first loop zero to size and in this case as well so overall time complexity is of n square okay so 
so do let me know if you have any inputs or concerns regarding this solution please comment and like share and subscribe the video and keep learning every day thank you